Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad Fury 333 and I can hear again! Yay! Finally! Precious noise! One less thing to be afraid of in the Pond of Sullivan fight! But first, I want to get something past these two, which means going through there as stealthy as possible. So, spook. To be silent myself. And then we'll deal with Pond of Sullivan. Oh, I can just probably remind them. We see yous. There we are. That's what I was looking for. Now, is there? There is. All right, so I need to deal with you. And I just did. Wonderful. Well, that was straightforward enough. I love the parrying dagger. It's the best thing ever. Anyway, below this is... The screaming of a mad evangelist? Okay, that's strange. Let's see, is there anything else in there? That sounds like... Sounds like it's not the Mad Evangelist. It sounds like one of those weird things that pops out of everywhere and tries to kill me. You know, the, the slave guys with the big swords. Those guys. Seriously, what's going on there? Is that seriously just the Mad Evangelist? Just, just having... Okay, I mean, that's... Strange, for sure. I've... I can't say I've seen Mad Evangelist do that before, but I'm going to assume that's exactly what's going on. Ah! Yeah! Ow. Okay, I was overconfident. Ow. Way overconfident, apparently. Oh, crap. This is a bad combination of things. Aha! Thankfully, I can still parry, so that's at least something. Oh boy, that's scary. You're scary. You're not scary anymore! Okay, that's... Okay, well that was kind of straightforward. Lots of parrying. Lots of killing. Got a curved sword. I don't think I'm going to use it. But I got one. Does it do anything special? I think it just does that thing I just saw. Also, which tree branch? Which doesn't scale anywhere near as well as my current staff. I wonder if there's a reason why I'd use this instead of my heretic staff. I mean, seriously, the spell buff is nothing compared to this. As is anything else, there's gotta be something I don't know about. What's going on here? Oh, fast- ooh, faster casting, that- hmm. Worth considering. I quite like having faster casting with miracles, but I don't know if it really matters here. Oh. I need 12 strength. I intend to get 12 strength at some point, so... It's worth noting, but I don't expect to get it right now. So not for a while, in fact. Not until I beat the dancers. That's... That's ways down the road. But anyway... I have wasted enough time, or gone through enough side things. It's now time to deal with the big Pope. Pope Sully. Pope Sully the First. Because that's how you get through the area. You talk to Pope Sully the First, and you tell him, Hey, I don't want you to live anymore, and then he tries to kill you. And then you kill him back. And then you get through. It's a rather straightforward way of going through life. It's obviously a little bit harrowing, but what works, works. Of course, there's a little bit of a run back. I mean, there's a bunch of things that are going to try to stab me. And then there's the Pontiff Knights up here, which are also going to try to stab me. And that one with the scythe. I don't know if they have seeds trying to stab me. But I'd say it counts enough. Anyway, Pontiff Sullivan. And I've got to be honest, I'm kind of scared. Yes! Got the first parry! Oh, I was so... I wasn't sure I was to be able to get that! Oh, that is wonderful! Now, can I do it again? That's the bigger question. That was... Okay, that was too early. Nope, bad... Oh! Okay, well... Eh, it was worth a shot. I still fight him normally. Ah... Hey, I still have enough to ask this up. And I'm actually on curve. Nope. Too early. Okay, I'm relying too much on parrying here. Ow! Also pain. Not relying on it, it just happens to be a problem right now. Yeah. Oh! I called that positioning just perfectly! Oh crap, this is... Oh, shoot. God, that's how that part worked. When he makes the clone. Ah! What? Oh, 
okay. I guess I was stunned from that first hit. Ah, I like having that one there so I know what's coming up next. But the problem is that it's really hard to deal with when stuff's... Ow. When the... Uh, when the hit stun from the first one is causing you to not be able to do anything but the second one. <sighs> That's annoying. This is actually a really hard boss to commentate over because there's so much going on. Doesn't feel as bad as it did before, but sheesh, this is a tough boss to commentate on. I mean, it's good to know that I got the timing once for that, but I feel like it's going to be disappointment the next time because I'm going to go for it again and it's going to... It might not work. I'm worried about that. I think it's a legitimate worry of mine. I don't know. We get it, we get it. If we don't, I suppose I'm not gonna die immediately. Oh! oh which reminds me, one thing I should do while I have the chance, and actually just stay with this, there we go, is magic weapon up stuff. I don't know that it'll help much, but hey, magic weapon my way through this. It might just work. So there's Pontus Sullivan. He's gonna come forward and start doing flame blade stuff. Ah, I did it again! Okay, cool. Two for two! I'm happy with those results. And... yeah. Ow. Ow. Hey! I did it again! I got another parry! Yay! Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a significant amount of damage. Okay, so that's gonna hurt me if I get too close. But now I can... Ow. Ow. Oh, wait, this isn't a... Oh, no, this is perfect! Ow! Well, it's almost perfect. That was... that was close. Ow. Well... Close enough. I mean, I'll see whatever's coming. Ow! Except I won't dodge it in time. Ah! There we go! Now Pope Sullivan is, or Ponta Sullivan is not dead yet. Shoot! Now, ah, so close. Okay, well, whatever. I, I poised through that enough. Took me two tries. Oh, that was so much better. I love parrying. I love parrying so much. I, I can't express how much I love parrying. More than I say I love parrying. Oh, parrying is the best. Ah. Okay, that was the boss I was most afraid of. When I started this entire series, when I started the entire concept of, hey, let's enjoy Dark Souls 3 for a change. Let's actually have fun with this thing. Ponta Sullivan was the boss I was most worried about. And I mentioned that last time, and I remained, until just now, just as worried that I would be basically as aggravated, as pissed off, as... Like, it was bad the first... Like, I don't even want to talk about that. Like, it was... Let's just say it. I had to... There was a lot of things I had to seriously think about after I fought that boss, because, shit, it... Like, it, it, it brought stuff out of me I didn't know I had in me. And I didn't want to accept I had in me. Ow, darn it. Well, we know the drill. Where'd it go? Ah, there you are. Get back here. Don't think I'm gonna let you go that easily. No. There we go. That's what I want to do. Use the big blades. Get another Twinkling Titanite that I don't need. Where are all the signs? <laughs> That's a troll. There used to be a bunch of signs here. I mean, this was... This is... Oh, I know what happened. Everyone's playing Undead Match. Everyone who wants to actually play multiplayer is playing the dedicated multiplayer. I mean, that's fair. There used to be a lot of signs here. Kind of disappointed there aren't as many as there, were, as there used to be. Of course, now I've got to make a choice, because I still have three areas I can go to. But there's a ring I want to get up there. Like, specifically up there. But that's a ways in. You know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up. I'm going to just go up. We'll deal with it that way. Because if I go through here, go through the upper part of Irithyll, then that'll get me what I want as soon as possible. Which is good. Also, I'm getting invaded by someone. Probably gonna get invaded by actual human beings, but definitely gonna get invaded by one of the 
CPU control phantoms. At least I'm fairly certain I will. Like, there's an Aldrich Faithful CPU controlled phantom around here, as I recall. But perhaps I recalled wrong. Maybe that was just actual human beings. And of course I want a torch. Where's my torch? Where's my torch? Ow! That's not. Ah. Uh, it's not good. Not what I want. Ah, there we go. Aldrich Faithful Darth Wraith. Dark Wraith. I was wondering when they'd show up. I'm wondering where they show up. Okay, seriously? No. Go away, and don't come back. Now, as for the Ultra Faithful Dark Wraith... Ah, there you are. Magic weapon, because it's always handy, and... Oh, you're gonna do the same thing. What? That was fast. What? How did that not count as parrying? Come on. Okay, what... I mean, I don't have the Ultra Ruby yet, so it's not the biggest deal in the world if I don't get it, but... Ow. Okay, what? Why am I not getting any parries here? Or really any... Any time to do anything? Why are you hitting me so fast? What is that stupid weapon? Quit touching me! Oh, great. Ah. Uh. Well, that's just perfect. Oh, and at three. Ah, now I gotta get souls and embers, and I forgot to. Whatever, I got stuff to deal with, so that'll have to be dealt with. At least the souls aren't in an area that's hard to get to. And the older faithful dark raid isn't gonna reinvade until I re ember, which I will, because damn it, I'm beating that thing. I'm not going to let a minor setback hold me back from trying to actually fight these. However, I'm also not going to gamble everything on getting through here, because 30,000 souls, that's a lot of souls. I would like to use those. Oh, hey, Grey Rat's back. You survived. Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion knight. But in the end, it all paid off. Ah. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. I can't remember what he gets off this. I think most of the stuff I really wanted... Oh, actually, you know what? This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Moonlight Arrow. Ooh. I mean, it's magic-specific, which doesn't really scale with anything, so... I mean, it's actually more useful for a build that doesn't use that. It doesn't use magic. It's not sorcery-based. But still, nice. That's... That's cool. So I can get all this stuff, because at this point it's going to be another raiding trip to Lothra Castle, and that's going to be even better, because Lothra Castle is going to be what I need in order to get everything else. But everything else I'm thinking of is things like exploding bolts and not using crossbows with this build, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's get that Aldrich Faithful Dark Wraith back here. Wherever they are. They'll come eventually. Oh wait, no, crap, there's those guys too. This is bad. This is really bad. Two Drain guys. Unless the Aldrich Faithful Dark Wraith only comes in when I go that far. Then I'm fine. I can fight the two Drain enemies like this. With arrows to the head. Or... Ha! I got an arrow to the head at the last second. Ow! Shoot, too late. What? <sighs> Man, parrying is weird. I like parrying, it's just sometimes it's really weird, like right now. Uh, especially when I get hit stun of any, of any kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, bad. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just forget it, I'm just gonna cut you. Because I know that'll work. Especially when you do silly things like that and knock and attack right into the ground. And that's how twin attacks are done. Oh, hey. More people to show, more people to demonstrate the power of twin attacks on. We think they're not twin attack. Ow, why am I not dodging? The heck? It's doing my weapon art. Why does it not work? Okay, seriously, I stun lock you, you do not stun lock me. That is the rule. I wish people would actually understand that. Make life a lot easier if people understood the rules of engagement here so that I would win! 
Why are you not letting me win? Come on. That's the rule. The rule is I win. <sighs> okay, seriously, how do I get into this thing? Like, childish petulance aside, how do I touch you? Like, seriously, this doesn't make sense to me. Ah. There we go. Finally got the stun lock going. Well, partially got the stun lock going. Please tell me you don't ask us. Ha. Ah. Ah, what? How the heck? You... Man, that's my job. My job is to be unfair with this. I'm not setting the pet child with petulance aside. In fact, I'm just shooting an arrow in your head. Because you're being a pain in the butt. So, take arrow. Rule that I win enforced. Anyway, might as well be an archer. Got the daggers. Might as well pull out the bow. Ay. Oh, what? Ah, oh, crying out loud, seriously? Didn't think you could hit me here. And of course, there's gonna be another one of those giants. This area is definitely tricky. Ah, uh, and there's more giants. I mean, I can deal with them if I didn't have fireballs raining down on me. And, like, no Estus left. Uh, the Eldritch Faithful Dark Wraith should be here sooner or later. I don't know where the heck they are. It's really bizarre. Yeah, ah, yeah, ha! Ah. Well, maybe it was a human player. I mean, I was pretty sure that was not a human player. But, maybe I'm wrong. It's a very specific roleplay for the human player, though. Also, where's this? Oh, I'm hearing the chants from the deacons upstairs, that's why. Well, I was wondering what the heck that sound was. It's like, it's weird chanting. But, yeah, it's the deacons, because I didn't kill all the deacons when I killed the deacons of the deep. And a few of them escaped. For now, won't escape me forever, for I am the deacon killer! Oh, they are going to be a bit of a pain in the meantime. Oh, wait, no, I gotta, I gotta change to the weapon that's best suited for dealing with deacons of the deep. And that is the Twin Blades. Ow! Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty open. Alright, fair enough. Fine. You do that all you like. I'm gonna still kill, cut you to death. And get all my HP back by just killing you. Because now I have the... I have the Ring of the Evil Eye on top of my earlier... Ow. Earlier Pontus left eye. Ow, why is... Okay, seriously, this is getting annoying. I should be hitting more often than I am. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Kind of annoyed that I had to use the Estus, but whatever, it works. Oh, what? I... Seriously? It was right there. Target was right there. You could have just locked on to the one that was literally in front of you. Yeah. All right. That's two more down. That's another one down, and I take more damage, but whatever, because I can just get more of it back from killing these things. Because every single one of them dead is another extra bit of HP between both rings, so this will work out beautifully. Yeah, 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 ha! And I only had to spend one Estus. Like I said, they were still alive so far. They weren't all dead yet. I didn't want to leave them alive for any longer than I had to, because... No. They just shouldn't be. And I need to preserve my title. Anyhow, that was actually not that hard, and I'm really surprised there was no more Aldrich Faithful Dark Wraiths, but I, like I said, that might just be an anonymizing feature when any player invades. Ah! Oh yeah, right. Spoiler alert. And Orlando's up there. And there's loads more archers this time than there was the first time around. That is, in the original Dark Souls. So, that'll be fun. I think there's about eight of them, as opposed to the initial two. But you can approach them far easier than you could back in the original game, so... Eh, it's a bit of a trade-off. Anyway. In spite of that, I think I have a few more things I can actually pick up around here. There's a secret area I can go to that is actually where you get the Aldrich Faithful Covenant. And I think there's a bonfire or something as well along the way. Or not? Because up here, this is leading up to An Orlando. I don't recall there being a bonfire right here. I, I recall there being a bonfire near the Covenant, 
You have to kill a Pontiff Beast to get it, though. And yes, I realize Pontiff Beasts aren't that hard. I mean, I beat the first one, no problem. Didn't break a sweat. So I'm not really worried. But it's nice to have the bonfire, just in case. However, it would appear that I'm either missing something, or there is no bonfire. That is really strange. So if I were to take... Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. I can just run back here. Yeah, I don't need a bonfire. The bonfire, the Pontus Solomon boss fight's close enough. Alright, well. This is where I wanted to go. And this is what I want to use. Because I want to get the magic weapon up before going down there. Might as well be at full HP too. Still running the Lloyd Shield Ring. That defense boost is nice. Not necessary, but nice. Also, are there any enemies here? Nope, just the... Just the Pontiff Beast. Z, plural. Right, because there's more than one. Okay. As long as I only wake up one at a time, which I just did, I should be fine. Get over here. Get over here where I can lock onto you. This camera sometimes. Camera... A lot of the time, actually. Yeah. Ow. Okay, that... Is that a percentage of my HP? Like, that... Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Ow! Okay, I'm being careless again. Ugh. Darn it, I can't see. I'm dead. I... Okay, I'm a bit of a chance now that I can barely see. Okay, there... no, we don't go. Why aren't you being hit? Okay. Actually... Curse me that maybe I shouldn't be using the the daggers here. Oh, never mind. No, no, they work. They work just fine. Ow, stupid lightning. Come on, die. Thank you. Okay, I'm not confident about the next one then. That last one took a lot out of me. Well, that's fine. Like I said before, I can run back. Homeward Bone! Alright, now let's try the other one. Oh, Human Dregs. Alright, that's the covenant item for this covenant. The one we're about to deal with. At least I have more room to deal with this one. I don't have to worry about waking up another one or anything. Ow. Ow! I don't know why I didn't roll. Sometimes I feel like this enemy just hits in ways that stun locks me out of rolling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it's just my attacks. And I can chain my attack into my step, but I guess I can't chain it into rolling as easily. Aha. There it is. Oh, what? Seriously? Now is not the time. At least I only used a few of my Estus Flasks, but that is an actual real human being. And I got the Ring of Favor. Beautiful. Now, just to deal with the Aldrich Faithful. Well, I mean, they might find me, I don't know. I guess I can't use the bonfire, then. Oh, I can light it. Probably just can't sit at it. That was indeed the bonfire I was looking for as a way of getting back to Han Orlando fairly efficiently. I mean, can I rest here? No, I can't. That's fine. I can still teleport back to here later. Got rid of both Pontiff Beasts, that's the important thing. Oh, hey, it's the dude. Now, should I do this as an honorable duel? I don't know. Let's let let them. Okay. They bowed. It's an honorable duel. No healing allowed. Ow. Well, that was fine. What? Okay. Seriously, what are the rules for parrying? This is getting very annoying. Like I'm I'm hitting the parry. And it seems like it should be the right timing, and it doesn't work. I do not get this. I have looked this up. Nothing makes sense. I can parry bosses no problem, but for some reason any human-like enemies aren't parryable, and I don't know why. It's very annoying. Oh yeah, I just don't need to do that then. It's like, I need to figure this out, but I can't. I can only have 15 more tries to figure this out, and then I can't ever figure it out again. Well, I can, but I mean... Pick up more embers, I suppose. Just really annoying. Like, I don't get this. 
It's like, if you look, it's the stamina meter. Like, you see, it's the thing that happens after they're there, the stamina works. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. As much as I dislike the Covenant, I do want to at least have all Covenants, because that's the thing I do. I obtained proof of the Covenant. I don't really care for the Covenant, but I am officially a... potentially a part of it. Or of a fancy new trinket. Anyway, this is not the real concern. The real concern is going up a level. Also, the real the other real concern is, can I put Ring of Favor in place of Havel's Ring and still make it work? No. Can I do it without the torch and still make it work? Oops. Also no. Very much no. Can I use Lloyd's Shield Ring instead? And actually, that would be... Ugh, the absorption is kind of terrible. The HP boost is nice. The stamina boost is nice. The equip load boost is immeasurably small. I don't know what I was thinking with this thing. Granted, that's a fair amount of HP, so I'll have to think about it. I mean, it's good to have it. I just don't expect I'll be using it in place of Havel's Ring. Because then I have to change a bunch of other stuff around and that, yeah, no. At least I don't think so. Oh, let's think about this for a second. If I were to use Ring of Favor, what would I have to change in order to make this work? Because this is fairly... Actually, I don't have to change much. In terms of what changes my resistances, I could change over to something like Sorcerer's Gauntlets or Cleric Gloves or something. And then change over to... Oh, what leggings would even work? Sorcerer trousers would work. Doesn't look half bad, either. The, def the defense isn't very good, though. I don't think my absorption's kind of... Meh. I mean, Lloyd's Shield Ring sort of makes up for that, but I don't know. It's like, that's with higher HP and higher stamina. I'll run this for a bit, but I think I might go back to Havel's Ring eventually. I just have a feeling I'm not going to like using this when I don't have Havel's. And I could have Havels. Not to mention Ring of Favor also means that I have to then heal up for Lloyd's Shield Ring. Which, admittedly, I can just do by cutting some fools. It's not really that hard. I don't need to use Estus. I can just cut some people. As soon as this ladder... Tr How big is this ladder? Alright, time for some fool cutting. Hey, you fools! Get cut! Yeah! Alright, cool. Well, that's my Lloyd Shield Ring back. See yous! That's all I cared about. Oh, now they're mad. They're just mad because I killed one of their number. Okay, that's a legitimate reason to be mad, but I don't care. So this is where things get tricky. Because I actually have two options broadly of how to approach this. I think one has more archers on it. I'm not sure which one I'd rather take. I mean, let's try down here first. See what happens if I go through here. Ooh. I got a large Titanite shard. That's a good sign. And then I get another one of these great bow wielders. I want to have come over here. Ah, actually. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew that was going to happen. I, I do not like trying to fight on really small services like that. I can't roll. And if I can't roll, then I can't fight. <sighs> okay, this is still scary. Again. Darn you, gravity. Alright, well, forget this path, then. Forget it. I'm gonna take the other one. I can actually fight them on the other side. Oh, whoops. Shoot. Made the same mistake again. Oh, right, because I wanted this stuff. You know what? In that case, I will actually avoid this mistake partially by dropping down here. This might give me a chance. At least I'm not going to be on those silly ramparts. Or buttresses or whatever they're called. My knowledge of medieval architecture is somewhat lacking, I'm afraid. Ah, what? I thought I could get around that by, you know, not being too close. Fine, whatever. Then get cut. Get cut and die! Aha! Nope. Wow. Man, stunlock and parry do not mix well. I really wish you could parry out of being partly stunned. But that's fine, whatever, I got the parry anyway. It's kind of funny, I don't have the thing that really benefits from parrying yet. I'm gonna get it in a moment. But not having it yet is still causing me problems. Now I gotta figure out where the heck to even go. Ah, you're the next problem. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cut you up. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to- Oh, you are gonna have a chance to hit me. I don't have quite enough stamina. To keep that in mind for the next one, just to know when to hold back. Haha! -ha! But now I've got you! Okay, so is that- Was that both of them? I don't think that was both of them. So I think there was another one around here. Or no, there wasn't. Nope. Nope, just the one on the rafters. All right, well, that's cool. I can deal with you. I can just come down there and then kill you. I mean, I managed to find a way to... Ow, seriously? Well, fine. Yeah, yeah. Stun lock city. And then kill you. There we go. All right, that's what I wanted. And a large titanite shard and a helmet I'm never going to use. But hey, large titanite shards. Useful things, those. Ah, <sighs> all right. There's still more knights left. Like I said, I think there's about eight of them. And that was three. At any rate, the other ones are, I think, a bit trickier. Nope, well, one of them's right there. Trickier in that sense. She's bloody ninja. Ow! Ugh, jerk. I was rolling there. All right, now I got you. Ha! Huh. Okay, you're you're dead. You are totally dead. This is working out nicely. Just stun lock you with a bunch of shots from a dagger, and I don't remember if there's anything here. I don't think there is. Illusory wall ahead, you jerk. There is not. There is no illusory wall ahead. You fooled me. Actually, you didn't have to try. I fooled myself. Darn it, me. All right, so this is where Spook comes in handy. Actually, I wonder how it's able to magic weapon as well. Because I'm getting a lot of mileage out of just slashing the hell out of them, but I feel like the slight increase that I'd get from using magic weapon would be enough to really make it worth it. Ha! -ha! Stab in the back! And then I just cut you. Ow! Yeah, actually, that would be worth it. It's very worth it. Ow! Oh, it's my back! you right in the back, jerk. Well, whatever. I mean, let's start getting this stun lock on. I'm dealing enough damage that I can kill you inside of a stamina bar. Magic weapon pays off. All right. Now, first thing I want to do, given the circumstances, might as well crack open the shortcut here. Because there's a shortcut here. Which I'll grant still means I have to go through a couple of these knights. I can't remember. I don't think I find this particularly good shortcut, but might as well open it for the sake of having it. Who knows, it might actually come in handy more than I expect. I guess for if you don't get the Aldrich Faithful Covenant bonfire, then you kind of need something. And this is that something. But as I mentioned before, with, with Irithyll, I kind of like the way it's designed, where there feels like there's some stakes with the bonfires and shortcuts. I mean, yeah, in the moment, it's a little annoying when you die. But overall, it's it feels like you actually have to think about it. Like, you don't have, you don't have this super close to the boss fight or super close to the next area, bonfire, or shortcut. It's there. You can use it. But it's not so super close that it's free. Oh, come to think of it, is that... Is that accessible? No, that is not accessible. At least not trivially. If it is, it would involve jumping or otherwise getting around somewhere. I think that'd probably be death. I'll have to explore it later. Okay, so this is... Yes, it is! There's an illusory wall here, because this leads to where Gwendolyn was. Back in the day. And actually, had it not killed Henri, would have led to the whole marriage scene. But it does not. Since I didn't let Henri die. So we don't have the... There, there would have been a Londor pilgrim out there going, Oh, your your husband's waiting for you. Or, I can't remember the voice that they used, actually. But yeah. Not this time. I saved them from death. This is also Gwyn's tomb. I mean, before Gwyn got killed by the player, it's a long story. Go play Dark Souls 1. That explains that part of the story. Also, are you Mimic? You're not Mimic. Stuff! Reversal Ring, which doesn't really do me much good. Like, my understanding is Reversal Ring changes the animations for the character so that male animations become female animations and vice versa. I don't really see why. You have Rosaria, you can just change your gender there, I think. I should probably check that, actually. I mean, let's see. Males can perform female actions, yeah. I'm really not sure what the point of that is. But hey, it exists. 
So, without Henri being dead and going through that quest line, this area is a bit of a waste. But it's good to get it out of the way already. I forgot we'd be able to get it out of the way first thing. Because, above this is, of course... Well, for anyone who's played Dark Souls 1, of course, this is the lower part of Analondo. This is where you fight Gwendolyn. Or was. Now, it's just a lower part of Anorlando. Ember. Pull the switch. Actually, might as well ember up, too. I don't know. Who knows what I'll find? I mean, I'm past the Aldrich Faithful section, as far as I know. So, should be good. Shouldn't have to worry about that. I mean, other invaders can, of course, come. This is not Bloodborne. Invaders can come anywhere. There haven't been very many, though. I mean, rather surprisingly, there's been some Aldrich Faithful, which is cool, but not much uh, anything else, and I haven't been summoned to Farron Keep at all. Like, I don't have to be near Farron Keep for this to work. Mm, no, apparently not. And I've used automatic summoning covenants before, and they're usually just, hey, automatically get summoned. It's really simple, usually. Alright, so if I recall correctly... Yes. Just do that. I can just walk on air! Yeah, so I'm hacking the game. Like, using no clip, no clip cheat, because I feel like it. Yeah, I, th I just thought I'd cheat. Like, why not? Whee! Seriously, though. It's a hidden path. It's one of those things you only really get if it's like, well, why is there this tower here? And why is that path going off the side out of nowhere? Maybe I should drop prism stones. Or in my case, just walk, because I know it's already Name there. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? I uh, yeah. Thou Dark things Moon too. Very well. Captain to this knightless company I remain. Uh -huh. I will grant thee purpose. I mean, you've been stuck here long enough. I guess you wouldn't have many knights left. I'm trying to think of that tale. I've heard some theories Thou that Yorshka... Thou far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the Covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the Aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Great. I was about to say, there have been theories floated around that this is Priscilla. Thou art now a blade of the Dark Moon. The only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. Oh, if I can provide... Well, oh yeah, I have one of these. I can just give you them. There you go, it's an ear. Officers right. made... But yeah, this, there's some theories that this is basically young Priscilla due to weird time shenanigans because of tail. Although I gotta be honest, I kind of think Priscilla's tail is cuter. Like, it's kind of furry. This one's more scaly and it's just, I don't know. It's not as cute. Sorry, your sh- Oh, whoa, 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 gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Or got a silver cat up. We're given the circumstances. Spook up! Because that lets me go down here. Okay, so this is going to be there to drop down once or twice to drop down again. Ah! Oh, shoot! I... <sighs> Great, I have to go back up there. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, not taking damage because, you know, spook. But, still. Yeah, they're part of the theory is because of this painting guardian stuff here. And the Painting Guardians were all about protecting Priscilla. Ow. Oops. Spook were off. They're all about protecting Priscilla from being killed, basically, by people. By bigoted people who'd be mean and kill them. Because they're this half-breed thing. Bit of a shame, but apparently that's a thing that had to be made sure to be protected. So, oh well. She only dies if the player kills her. Otherwise, she lives, and according to some theories, becomes Yorshka. So that's a thing. 
I don't know if... I don't know how that works, honestly. I mean, my guess is that there really isn't all that many connections between Dark Souls 3 and 1. Like, there's some connections, but my guess is that many of the connections or perceived connections are kind of just there because they were basically making a somewhat new setting with Dark Souls 3 and just decided to throw in a bunch of references to Dark Souls 1. And people just went, oh, well, that's Dark Souls 1, and that means it's Dark Souls 1, which means that it's all the stuff that makes Dark Souls 1 Dark Souls 1. And I think I death planed. Yes, I death planed. Shoot. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Anyone at all? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? No clue, but clearly Patch has got to you. It's me! Siegfried of Katarina! Yes, I know, I have your armor. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Yep. Did you happen to see it anywhere? There you go. I've been collecting this as I've been going back to level up. Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I am Siegfried of Katarina Salucho. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. I should hope so. Until we meet again, comrade. <laughs> no, with. Yeah, so I've been grabbing Siegfried's armor off Patches since Greyrock got saved. Figure I might as well just go through Patches or Siegfried's quest because it's a good quest to go through, just to get it out of the way. And Zebra again. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Narcoleptic as always. Me, I, I must have dozed off. No kidding. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so I. Siegfried of Katarina offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. Oh? Oh. Okay. Same as in Dark Souls 1. I know. I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we are... and fine... Thank you. Pure. Long may the Have sunshine. somewhere. Hidden right here in Irithil is a deep dungeon. Yep. And even below that, the profaned capital. Oh, that's supposed to know about this. Of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I have a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Well. I'm going to have myself a little nap. As always. The only thing to do, really, after, after a nice, nice toast. toast. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, back to sleep. Estes Soup. Yeah, he's... That, yeah, that's... They're out of it. Okay, well, that's that done. Well, that part of it done. The rest of it's probably not going to matter until I get to the profane capital and so forth. So, back to Anorlando. There's a thing here. So I made a slight error in that I went and went to Yorshka before lifting this up in order to get to the actual bonfire. So a bit of a run back was involved, but now, now we can actually push this thing. Get ourselves up a level. I can't remember if there's a way of going down a further level. Or this is just two stages. I think this is just two stages. Traption does not move, and this leads nowhere. And I'm fairly certain that if we were to go down again, I'd get back to Yorshka. Ah! Ow! That hurt. A lot. Do I get back to Yorshka? I do. Okay. 
I'll just have to use the lever to get everything back down again. Alright, that's cool. At any rate, we are where I want to be, and hopefully we can get the Aldrich Ruby. Which is going to be a bit of work. Actually, I don't know if we can, because it's going to involve a few steps. I think that'll be next episode. I think th I'll just call it here. As we enter the venerable city of Anor Londo. That is going to be it. So thank you for watching. And until next time, enjoy stuff.